my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> There it is. It's as big as me. So today's gonna be a little tutorial about how to catch paddlefish by hand. Th there is a major, major caveat to this. I don't know of anywhere in the world where you can catch paddlefish by hand, except right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that spot is about to go away. <laughs> <laughs> because of construction and all the things they're doing here. Uh, it's, it's, it's changed a few times because of the construction, and it's probably not going to be a thing anymore, unfortunately. I have a couple of spots I'm going to try elsewhere in Oklahoma where maybe this can be done, but I think this is the only spot in the world where it can be done, because paddlefish stay in deep water usually. But here in the Arkansas River, in this section of this Prairie River, it is a shallow river the majority of the time unless it's flooding. So the deep section is like four feet, three feet, five feet, something like that. So you can catch them by hand, but anywhere else it's going to be 20, 30, 40 feet. Obviously you can't do that. So that's the major caveat. I'm going to show you how this came about, how to catch them by hand, and show you the really weird ways we came up with this and some tips if you ever are you able to come across one <laughs> here or elsewhere some tips on how to actually catch them by hand so let's go take a little trip down the arkansas river and i'll show you how to do it so in locating these paddlefish what i'm trying to do is differentiate their darkness or lightness from the bottom and then i'm trying to buy to grab the bill or the rostrum instead of the other end. Because if you grab the other end right at the here. base of the tail, they're going to thrash and whip and use their power and you are not going to be able to get them. I'm not saying it's impossible. I think I've done it once or twice, but it's almost impossible to do. You've got to grab the bill somehow um, or you're going to have no chance. So grab the bill with one hand and if you can do that and secure it, then you take your other hand and grab at the base of the tail. If you can do those two in that order, you can catch a paddlefish. Otherwise, not going to happen. Here I'm just trying to chase the fish shallower. Because out in the open river, in the current, in the channel, you're not going to be able to get them nine times out of ten. I'm just trying to push them as shallow as possible so I have a fighting chance to get them. Get in front of them. Make them turn. Oh, I didn't make him turn. I didn't make him turn. Oh, where is he? Oh, there's there's multiples here. I just kicked one. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. Oh, look at this. It's a good size one, too. It's a good size one. Look at this beast. Oh. He's freaking out. Oh, look at this thing. Almost lost him. Almost lost him. I'm going to take him up here to the other camera. Oh, it's a good size one. Oh, look at that. Look at that beast. Look at that beast right there. Oh, let's take him up. Let's take him up. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not. So in this next clip, I've already got my hands on one. I know. Terrible camera work to not have it rolling. I've already got my hands on one, a hand on the bill, and then a hand on the tail, and I go to hoist it out of there. Yep, 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 got one right here. Yep. Oh, oh my gosh. It's not as big as I would like for keeping, but uh, I've been having such trouble catching one, a second one today. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one and bring him home. Here if I can hold on to him. Oh, look at this thing. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, beautiful paddlefish. Probably about a 25 or 30 pounder. Pretty decent size. There it is. There's the rostrum. Caught this one by hand. We're gonna let him go. So I can get the footage of letting him go here. All right. Here's another trip with my brother, a different year, 
and I come across a huge paddlefish. Same technique, but sometimes if you get a little sloppy with your technique after you get them, uh, they can mess you up a little bit, and you'll see what's going on with that right here. Got him? Absolutely mess. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Need help? You got him? Got him. Okay. Get out here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude, you're going to have to pull the lure out of here. Okay. Like, hold. <laughs> hold. <laughs> I'm about to say, hold on. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, you okay? You okay? Yeah, got, um, okay. There he is. Get him, get him, get him. Let's go. Get him your way. I missed it. Yeah, you, you got him. All right. Give him a second. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I'll, use my, I'll use my gloved hand. Um, yeah, use your... Hold, oh. hold the camera here. Yeah. Yes. Such a massive, massive fish. Right? Yeah. Sometimes it takes a team effort, and you can see in this drone footage all the paddlefish that are around, but one person cannot get it in this case, and we chase it back and forth until someone finally gets it. As you can see, you have a much, much higher chance of catching one with a team. Get the pliers out of the sea. Oh, it's rusting out. It's right out. It's all rusted. Okay, good. It's not gonna hurt it too much. Nice job, guys. Here I'm just chasing these paddlefish around until I can get them in shallow water, and also not only in shallow water, but to where they will show me their bill. Because if I'm on the back end, like I've mentioned before, virtually no shot. So I'm trying to get them to turn around so I can have a chance to grab them by the bill. Too tired, I think. Too tired. Well, I think that's everything you wanted to know and didn't want to know because you'll probably never be able to use it about catching paddlefish by hand. However, I thought that had some good information in there, you know, for all the people that will never be able to use it. So, <laughs> but it's it's just crazy how this all came about. Um, there's something I don't know what the right word is primal, but there's something primal about catching these fish by hand. And it's just a different adrenaline rush, a different feeling than anything you get on rod and reel or a net or anything else. Um, and I enjoy all types of fishing, don't get me wrong, but there's nothing like this. And I think it makes it special when I do catch them because it, it can only be done when the water is down. Um, when we haven't had a ton of rain and there's not a lot of flow, um, that's the only time it's shallow enough and uh, to even get out there. And it's the only time it's clear enough in the water as well to see anything so very limited times of this gets to happen only a few times a year some years is only been once or twice so just depending on the rain so it's just a it, there's just nothing like it i can't really put it into words um unless you've done it i've taken a few people and they all say the same thing there's just nothing like it but i think that's going to wrap up the video if you like the video hit subscribe because i'm going to have more videos coming out um, let me know in the comments what type of videos you'd like to uh, see. I'm putting out as much stuff as I, as I can throughout the winter of older stuff. In the spring, just, just let me know below, and in the spring, I'll go do it, if, if possible. Whatever type you want me to do, whatever challenge you want me to do, I'll do it. Put it down below. Let me know. But thank you very much for watching the video, and God bless.